everybody this is Michelle and I'm here today to share a tutorial for Country Craft Creations and we're going to be recreating this explosion box that I created with this explosion board scoreboard that I received. So I received this from Santa and it was such a hit when I shared it that uh, Tamara got it in the store and I love this thing. This thing is really amazing. There's a lot you can do with it. And I have been playing with a bunch of different designs. So I did a tutorial already, a previous tutorial on how to use this board and what it can do. So we went over uh, some basics, different pages that you can make for your explosion boxes um, and some other different things. And I'll have a link to that tutorial in the description. But uh, today what we're going to do is recreate this box, which was the first one that I made using this board. So we will uh, recreate this from scratch. And I will show you how to do that, how to cut your papers, all that stuff. Then um, in, in future tutorials that I'm going to try and get done as soon as possible because the response to what you can do with this has been so good, um, I'm going to come up with some more tutorials because I have come up with some different things that you can do with this thing. And I'm, I'm just like, I keep coming up with ideas. So I think I'm going to have um, a lot of tutorials on what you can do with this board. But again, the first tutorial I did was basically how to use the board and how to navigate it. Today, we're going to recreate this box and then I'll come up with some more later. So go to Country Craft Creations at countrycraftcreations.com and get your board and get some papers and let's do some creating. So if you haven't seen this, this is from We Are Memory Keepers. This is the explosion board and it comes with the board, the scoreboard. It comes with the scoring tool and it also comes with these heart templates because we've seen the explosion boxes with the heart side. So it comes with the templates that are perfectly sized to create your box. And I'm going to show you how to use these and then also how to use them to cut the patterned paper for your box. So um, a really cool tool. Explosion boxes have obviously been around for a very long time. I mean, you know, we've, I'm sure you've seen them somewhere. Um, they have been around for a long time, but this board actually makes it super simple. And especially since like all the measurements are right there, all the score lines are there. So you basically do not have to do any measuring. This is really super quick and easy. So it makes seven different sizes of boxes and lids. So you know, you can make quite a, a nice project. The final project, let me show you this one. This is what we're going to recreate today. The box is four by four. The lid is a little bit bigger. Um, it measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then all of the lids are one and one eighth inch deep. So um, it makes a really nice box. You can do all kinds of things with it. But um, I, when I was playing with it the first time, I went ahead and I made every lid and every page and just kind of, we're just going to go through this. So we're just, we're going to recreate this whole thing um, with different papers, of course. So each thing, you can make triangle pockets here. We'll take off this lid, um, have straight photo mats here. You can put lots of, of beautiful pictures in here. Um, this is an octagon page. So again, more photo mats here. You keep going. So seven layers you can do. This is a little bottom pocket, and I just put some tags in there from the paper collection that I used. Um, there's also a little bit of room between each lid so that you can put a little bit of a dimensional um, decoration on, which is nice. Uh, last layer here with another little um, double triangle pocket so this has a pocket that is here and then a pocket that's underneath here so that's pretty cool so you can do a little double pocket thing and then the last box i made a gift box so if you were to give this like for a present you could you put money in there or little candies or whatever you want to do so we're going to do this today and the papers that i'm going to use i'm going to stack this up and move it aside so I can show you. Papers I'm going to use today are by Photoplay and it's Camp Happy Bear. I had received this in a mystery box from Country Craft Creations and um, I thought this would be a really cute way to use the papers and, and make this box. So this is what we're going to use. I do not have a whole lot left over. There's, there's not a whole lot left over. So if you make this, the supplies you're going to need, you're going to need 
for the cardstock for the actual boxes and the lids, if you make all seven layers and all seven lids, you will need nine sheets of cardstock. I am using artisan cardstock um, and craft cardstock from Country Craft Creations. So you'll need nine sheets of your base color for your boxes and your lids. And then you will also, if you do the photo mats the way I do them um, with the uh, coordinating cardstock, you will need two sheets of another color. So I'm going to use brown. So we'll have nine sheets of craft, two sheets of brown, and then you will need a pack of paper. And then that's pretty much, that's what you'll need to make all the boxes and all the pages. And then, you know, add your embellishments on the lids, whatever you want to do afterwards. So I won't decorate it on camera. I will put the pattern papers on so you'll see how it goes together. But um, that's the basic supplies that you're going to need. So let's get started with this. And we're gonna start with the first layer. The first layer is that heart layer. So I have kind of all my pieces here. Um, so the first layer is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And on every single page that you make with your explosion board, you're going to, so for the box, there's a chart. So if you want the extra, extra large box, you'll need a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And then extra large will be 11, large 10 by 10, nine, nine by nine is the medium, eight by eight is small, seven by seven, extra small, six by six, extra, extra small. So for all of the boxes, you just cut the size that you want out of your pattern paper, and then you put it in your scoreboard. Every box is exactly the same. And then this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. I'm making the extra, extra large box. So we're going to score on the extra, extra large line and you'll score all the way down on all four sides. Okay, so you just score, turn, score, turn, and so on. Then if you are making a box that's going to have a side that will fold in, so with the other box with the hearts, they fold it in to kind of enclose the box. You will have a score. There's on the scoreboard, there's a score line here that you will score all the way down. So you just put this in here and we have already scored. I found it easier to do it this way. You've already scored all four sides, okay? So you have a score line that you have a, uh, a reference for and then just score the diagonal. Okay, down to the score line. Now, you have to be careful on the extra, extra large one, the score line will stop at that line, but it doesn't stop at the other line. So if you're making a medium box, for example, and you want that score, just make sure you don't pass that score line because if you do, you'll go into um, the other part of the box. You'll go into the middle part of the box. You don't wanna do that, okay? So just be aware um, to, to stop yourself, I would do the scores first on all four sides and then go back and do your diagonals where you want them, okay? So you have that score line to stop you, okay? Once you do that with this first layer, this is the extra, extra large layer again, then this is where you're gonna get your templates out. So your templates come on this handy little um, binder ring and they attach, I didn't show this to you, but they attach to the ring here so you won't lose them. Um, but I took them off, you know, obviously, because it's hard to use when it's attached to the board. So you're gonna wanna grab your extra, extra large heart that goes with the extra, extra large box. Let me turn this around so it makes sense, okay? And then you're gonna take your heart and a pencil, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up your heart to the scores on these outer corners, and you're going to trace your heart shape around. So then what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna cut at the score lines here, and then you're gonna cut these pieces out and create that heart shape, okay? That's the next thing you're gonna do. And let me show you the easiest way to cut this out because yeah, there's, there's a little trick that I kinda learned. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna cut the scores to the corner of the heart, okay? Just like that. And then I found it easier if I just cut down that score to the point of that heart piece. And then I'm just going to cut it out. So you could freehand, or not freehand, but use a knife on this um, and do that, or you can use your scissors, however is easier for you. But I did find that it was easier if you did those three slits first and then just work your way around the heart.
just like that. Okay, and pop that out, and then you have your heart shape, okay? Then um, grab your eraser, I know I had one here earlier, and then erase your pencil marks, and then you're good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of the hearts. Again, I'm gonna make the slits here, here, and here on the score lines to the pencil marks that I made for my heart shapes and then cut those out. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So I'm done. I've cut out all my heart shapes and we have the outside of our box done. This is the extra extra large box. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold and burnish our score lines. Okay, and I found it easy to do all four of the sides first and then do the heart shape scores. So once you get that done, then to create this um, heart, you just fold it over, hold your heart down, and then fold it back, and then go ahead and grab your scoring tool and then burnish that line in. And that will help create that heart shape that goes to the inside, okay? So just do that all the way around. So obviously this is gonna be towards the inside of the box. Okay, once you get that done, then we're good to go, and then we just need to do the pattern paper. So let's do the outside of the box first. So the outside of the box, the very outer layer, you're gonna wanna cover the bottom of the box. On the other ones, on the inside, we're not gonna cover the bottoms of the box because they're gonna be glued together, so you don't need to. So, but the outside, you're gonna need to do that. So, what I did, for the outside of the box is I chose this paper and you're gonna need five pieces that are three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So let's, we're gonna lay these around like that and make sure of your direction because this box will fold up. So you're gonna want, like this one is a wood grain, so if you're using a directional paper, just make sure that when you fold the box up, they're gonna be in the correct orientation. All right, and then in the middle, it doesn't really super matter. I'm using the wood grain for the outside of the box because that's gonna be the bottom of the box right there because this is the outside. So then what we're gonna need to do is do the um, hearts pieces, you know, the pattern paper hearts for um, that part. So what you're gonna grab is the next size down of the heart templates, okay? So since this is the extra, extra large box, we're gonna grab the extra large heart. When you cut the pattern paper out, you can see that when you lay it down and cut it out, uh, it's going to actually fit pretty perfect to that shape. So I did three of them already, and I'll show you how to cut them out, but you can see that's how they're going to lay on the outside of the box, okay? So I have these taken care of, and then let's, I'm gonna show you how to do it on this one. So I grabbed my paper, and I'm just gonna take the, again, the next size down on the heart. So this is the extra, extra large box. So we're gonna want the extra large heart to cover with pattern paper. And then I'm just gonna put this here and trace around with my pencil, okay? And then cut that out. So let's do that. And I'm gonna, it's hard to see pencil on this. I didn't plan that very well and cut that guy out. All right. Um, there we go. I'm having a hard time seeing the pencil. It doesn't show it very well on this, but okay. I did ink all my papers too, so we're gonna real quick do that. And the reason I did that is because the papers are dark and the paper core is white and I didn't want that so I'm just gonna grab my distress ink and I'm gonna ink the edges and actually I'm gonna have to go back because I have to cut this but grab your cutter here line up the point middle of the heart to the point all right cut that and that is how you make the heart shapes for the pattern paper for your box. 
Okay, so let's ink this edge. That will go here. And let's ink this edge. And that will go here. And there you go. So on the inside, I did the same thing. Um, for the inside of the box, I made the hearts. You can see the heart shapes here. I made my hearts. And the other thing to do is if you're making a bunch of hearts, which you, you know, you're going to make four of them, just make sure you're going to, you know, keep your pattern paper. Don't get them mixed up. So the pattern stays. So you see the pattern. So, um, I did that. And then for the inside of the box, the squares that are going to be open are going to be the photo mats. So I did four uh, photo mats out of the brown artisan cardstock. Um, and this is again available at Country Craft Creations. And it's three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So you'll need four of those for the inside of the box. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all this down on both sides. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll go on to step two. So I have put the pattern paper on the inside of my box. So when we fold it up, all these, um, you know, hearts will fold into the box. Okay, so the inside is done. You don't have to put pattern paper on the inside middle because we're gonna be stacking boxes in here and gluing them down. So you don't need to do that. And then uh, photo mats, again, um, the squares on the extra extra large box are three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then the hearts, we used the extra large template to cut out the pattern paper for that, okay? So then the back side we've got covered with pattern paper. So layer one is done. All right, let's put it to the side. And then what we're going to do is do the next layer, which will be the extra large layer. And this is going to be the single triangle pocket layer. So let me kind of move this stuff out of the way. And again, what you're going to do is you're going to put it in your scoreboard. This is the extra large box and you're gonna score on your scoreboard. Don't need the hearts anymore. You're gonna score on your scoreboard at the extra large line. Okay, all the way around. But on this one, you are not gonna do the corner things because we're going to do something a little bit different with them. Okay, so, excuse me, we've scored all four sides. And then what you're gonna do is, I, I drew with this on pencil. Um, took my ruler and on all the corners we're just going to cut off the corners so I just took my ruler and lined it up and drew from from score line to score line because we're going to cut these four corners out and then what you're going to do is you're going to pinwheel cut and when I talk about pinwheel cutting what I'm meaning is you're going to cut like here and then you're going to turn it and you're going to cut this score line here turn it again so you're going to have the whole pinwheel thing so we're going to do that and I'll show you so once you make your your corner lines, we're just gonna cut this part off. All right, all four, and you're gonna end up with an octagon piece, which later we're going to do something a little different with, but on this one, we're just going, we're going to create pockets. All right, and so once you do that, all four corners are off, and then we're gonna do the pinwheel cuts. So we're just gonna cut up our score line right to the bottom of the box and do that. Turn it, do the same thing. So that's what I mean when I when I say the pinwheel kind of cut. All right, like that. I drew pencil on it because I thought maybe it would be easier for everybody to see, but I'm having a rough time. <laughs> the glare isn't... Uh, doing me any favors today okay all right so we got that and then grab your your eraser take off the pencil marks because we don't want that we don't want pencil marks on our papers all right there we go and then what you're gonna do is before, let's see, we're gonna score, or not score, we're gonna fold and burnish. So we made our cuts.
fold and burnish everything. So just do that. And then what we're going to need to do is I missed a pencil mark. There we go. Okay. So then what we're going to do um, for the inside of the box, we're going to start with the inside. So these triangles are going to fold over, glue down, and then that's what's going to create our pockets. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is put pattern paper on the four squares. I just went ahead and used photo mats in the brown cardstock. Um, and we're going to glue those down like so. And those particular pieces are cut at three and a half by three and a half. And then you're going to need to, so after you do that, then we will glue that down. Okay. I'll do, let's do, let's just do one. Let's just do one. Okay. So you're going to take this. Now you can use pattern paper as well. I just chose to use my artisan cardstock. And what I had done, I figured out how many sheets you would need to do this. So you do need two sheets. If you're going to do it exactly like I did it, you will need two sheets of a coordinating cardstock to cut all these different squares. You can use pattern paper. I went through my scraps and used my scraps for these. So I didn't even have to cut a 12 by 12 piece of paper. That was pretty cool. All right. So once you put this down, then grab glue and put it on the corner of, or the bottom, excuse me, of the triangle that you're going to glue down just on the bottom. And then we're going to fold it over and glue that down. That's going to create our pocket. And then you will need to have some triangles cut to cover your pockets. Okay. So what I did was I cut the squares so you can see right like here. It's not, this isn't the one that matches it, but you can see that I cut out a square and then cut it in half. And that's what I use to do the triangle. So when you do want to cover a triangle, it's going to be a little bit different measurement. So the pocket, the squares here, so the squares for the craft card stock are about three and five eighths by three and five eighths. So we cut the mat at three and a half by three and a half. But what you're going to need to do for the triangle is cut it a little bit shorter because we usually, I've been cutting them an eighth inch shorter to do mats. But when you do a triangle, you're going to need to go a quarter inch shorter. So since it is three and five eighths, you're going to cut it at three and three eighths. Okay. So you're going to end up having, let me turn it over so it kind of looks more normal. So you're going to cut a square that's three and three eighths by three and three eighths. And then you're just going to cut it in half. Okay. And that's going to make your triangles. So then um, obviously you're going to want to watch orientation. Okay. So if you have paper, that has an orientation, you have to watch that. So if you want the patterns, you need to make sure that you do your pockets the correct way and you cut your papers the correct way. And you can see that my planning, I decided I was going to um, do it that way. So I didn't really pay attention to that. But if you want your pockets going, you know, if you had your pockets go in the other direction, then you could use a directional paper uh, to do that. Okay. But we're going to do it like that. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to have the polka dots on the inside here. And then we're going to just put our pattern paper on here. And then glue that down. And you can see how cutting it just a little bit shorter actually gives you like the perfect photo mat. Um, to put for your pocket. And then what I did was in the paper collection, they had these cute little cut aparts or all sorts of different sizes. So I cut some of those out and then put those in there. You could also put some um, spare cardstock, uh, cut them in tag shapes, make little uh, fold out cards, whatever you want to do. But so that's what I'm going to do. So let me finish making the pockets. And then on the outside, we're going to put our pattern paper. Now, I should say on the outside of the boxes, um, I just did pattern paper. I didn't do any photo mats or anything like that because they're really hard to see with the lids on them when they're 
put together and then when you explode them they pop open so the photo mats are on the insides of the boxes and the outsides I just did pattern paper okay so let me um, do that and then we'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like so I have finished putting my photo mats in the background my triangle pockets I created my triangle pockets out of the pattern paper and then put my little tags that I already pre-made into the pockets and then um, if you turn it over so this is the inside of the box this is the outside of the box I put the pattern paper on there and then the next thing to do is just to glue it into the inside that we already are the uh, the extra extra large box that we already made so it's going to sit now you can see this is why we're not going to put pattern paper on the bottoms you could but not very much is going to show once you glue the boxes on so I'm not going to do that um, and you don't need to this is going to get pretty thick with seven different layers so you really don't need to add seven more layers of pattern paper on this uh, just do it on the outside the outer box put it on there to finish it but then on the inside you don't need to do that okay so then I just kind of gathered it up grab my glue and put some glue on there we'll watch it we, we don't want it to seep out so we're gonna kind of be careful with that but then just put it down center it on here You'll have a little bit more than an eighth of an inch or so on each side. So just center it, hold it down for a second. The art glitter glue will, um, you know, catch fairly quickly. Make sure nothing's seeping out too much, okay? And then kind of press that down. And then I've been going around just double checking because I don't want the pages you know to glue where they're not supposed to so I try not to get the glue too close to the edge on these um, but do go around and double check and make sure because you definitely do not want that okay all right so there you go so our second layer is done all right so let's let this set and dry and let's go to our next layer which is our large box and what we're gonna do this one's super simple this is just the T so we're just basically going to take our 10 by 10 piece of paper for the large box and we're gonna put it in our scoreboard we're gonna score on the large line all four sides okay and then we're just simply gonna cut out the corners that's all we're gonna do we're gonna cut those out and make a T shape so um, let's do that just cut up the score line and cut each corner completely out. Save these pieces. They are great for making tags for the pockets that we're creating. Okay. Um, so just do this all the way around. All right. Again, just cut up the score. All right. Just like that all the way around and then you're going to I'll do this now you know fold and burnish all of your lines and it's basically going to make a t-shape all right once we get it all done I still need to cut out the other two corners so don't don't panic yet okay <laughs> so one will be the outside one will be the inside for the inside since there's going to be four panels on the inside, I did four of the photo mats, and for the large box, they will be three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and also the pattern paper, three and a quarter and three and a quarter, and I just did four of those for the outside of the box. So I'm gonna put those on, cut the corners out, put these on, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have cut all four corners out of my large box, and again, my large box started as a 10 by 10 piece of cardstock. So you score and then cut all four corners out, and then put your uh, photo mats on, which are three and one quarter by three and one quarter, and then um, put your pattern paper on the outside of your box. Make sure if it's directional that it's all facing the same direction, so when you fold it up, it'll be in the right orientation. And then grab our project here, and we're gonna add this one to the middle here. So again, put your glue 
on the bottom of your box. Fold it up, kind of hold on to it, and then center it. There we go. Hold it down for a second. Let the art glitter glue catch it. Yeah, there we go. And I need to get this is what I need. A little. There we go. That's more better. And then check around, make sure that you haven't leaked any glue. Okay, so third layer, the large layer, is done. All right, it's taking shape. All right, the next layer is going to be the medium size, which is a nine by nine piece of cardstock. We're gonna make the octagon out of it. So we're going to need some more triangles, and these are gonna be smaller triangles, so I'll show you how to do that. And you'll need those for the inside and the outside. All right, so you're gonna put it in your board. You're gonna score it on the medium score line. You're not gonna do the corners, okay? We're not gonna do the corners. We need, or actually, no, we are. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna put it in your scoreboard and you're gonna score on the medium, all four sides, and then you are going to go back and you are going to score the corners down to your score line mark, okay? Make sure you don't go past your score lines. So then once you do that, we're gonna draw a line again, grab our ruler and our pencil, and we're gonna go from score line to score line, and we're going to draw a line and we're gonna cut out all four corners, and then um, we're gonna fold and burnish. So let's do that. I'm gonna cut those off. When you get done cutting these off, you should have an octagon shape, and the corners should have a score. All right, they're going to fold in and they're gonna create uh, the octagon. There you go. Those aside, grab our ruler. Make sure all our pencil marks are off. And I'm gonna grab this. I'm going to fold and burnish. And I missed that one, there we go. So fold and burnish all four sides. Okay. And then we're going to just fold back those triangle corners and then go inside. Okay, so you fold it and then fold the triangle back and then use your bone folder and go in and burnish that so it will fold to the inside just like that. You're going to need some pattern papers that the squares will measure two and seven eighths by two, two and seven eighths, okay? The squares will. And then the triangle pieces you're going to need to cut, you're gonna actually cut a square. Let's show you for the inside of the box here. So you're going to need a square for the triangle pieces lay these out for you. Okay, so for the smaller triangle pieces that you're going to need to make, um, you're gonna have these little pieces here that you're gonna have to do. So you're gonna need um, two squares for the inside and two squares for the outside. And these are going to measure uh, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then you're going to, so you imagine that it's all one square and then you're gonna cut it at the diagonal. So then you have the two triangles and then you're gonna cut each of those in half. And that's how you're gonna get the pieces to cover the inside triangles and the outside triangles, okay? So again, you're gonna start with a square that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters because it's gonna be um, a little bit smaller than the pattern paper that you're gonna cover the squares with because we're cutting it. Um, and this will give us the perfect photo mats. So two and three quarters by two and three quarters, cut it in half at the diagonal and then cut each of those from the point to the middle out. And the easiest thing to do is put this triangle piece in your scoreboard and make sure it's all nice and flush up here and put the point where your blade would go and then just slice it down. 
Okay, that'll give you the perfect shapes. So these will, let me get these out of the way for a second. These are going to go in here. And again, if you're using directional paper, please make sure that you have your papers in the right orientation. And then we're gonna have photo mats again in the four corners. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the outside box. So I just, I did the same exact thing just with some pattern paper, different pattern paper that are gonna be on the outside. All right, and I will come back and show you what this looks like when we're all done. Okay, so the inside of the octagon shaped medium size box is done. So I have my photo mats. And again, those are two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then the triangles that I created to cover the four pieces on the inside and on the outside are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Cut them at the long diagonal first and then cut each one of the triangles left over in half. And then that'll give you the perfect pieces to, to cover that. So I did the inside and I did the outside. So again, this will fold up those will fold in and honestly truth be told you probably don't have to put the triangles on the outside you covered with pattern paper but I just thought it was pretty so I did it and then grab your piece and we're gonna glue that to the inside so this is layer number four medium put some glue on here and then center it in there isn't this cute I think these pattern, or this paper is adorable. Very masculine. This would be a great gift for the man in your life that likes to, they like to hunt or camp or fish or whatever. Um, I was thinking this would be cute for my grandson because he is in the Scouts and they do lots of camping trips. And this might be a cute album for that too. So there is our fourth layer. So let's grab the next layer. This is the small box. We're going to make the pockets. So the bottom pockets on this one. Let's get this gear off here. So the small box starts with a piece of cardstock that's eight by eight. Put it in your scoreboard and score at the small line on all four sides. Do not, don't do the corners. No corners. Okay. Then what I did was I measured Pinwheel fashion, again, so I did one side and then turned it, did the side, did, okay, so did the pinwheel fashion thing. And I measured from the score line um, an inch and an eighth. So it basically will give you um, a space where a pattern paper at an inch wide will cover the pocket. Okay, so I was trying to make it easy for myself. You can do however big of a pocket you want, it's fine. So uh, I measured from the score to an eighth, uh, inch and an eighth, and I drew a line, and then we're gonna cut this piece out. So what you're gonna do, and again, pinwheel style, is we're going to, first we're gonna cut up the score, just to the middle, and then we're gonna cut that pencil line that we did, so an inch and an eighth from that score, and we're gonna stop at the score line. And then we're gonna cut that corner completely out. Okay, so what that's going to do is when we turn it over and fold this over, is going to give us our little pocket to put our little tags in, okay? So you should have a piece that kind of looks like this right now. And we're gonna turn it and we're gonna do it again. Okay, all four of those corners. So cut up the score, cut up your pencil line, and again, you can make that pocket as deep as you want. I just did it. Um, I kept the, I can't hardly see that score. Um, I kept like it at inch and an eighth because it's the same depth as the lids, and I just, you know, decided to do that. And then an inch strip of pattern paper covers it, which is awesome because you can use, you know, scraps, which is nice. A lot of times we end up with like these little strips of scraps from cutting things out. We don't have anything to do with them. This project, you have something to do with them. So, 
and do that one more. There we go. Cut up your score. There we go. And then cut your last pencil mark. And again, we did this pinwheel fashion. Okay. All right, so all four of those pieces are out. These will make cute little mini tags, so don't throw them away if you want them. Okay, so you should have a piece that looks like this. And then we're going to turn it over and fold and burnish. Like that, okay. Then you're going to need to put your little photo mat cardstock pieces on for the inside of your box. All right, so we'll need to lay that down on all four and glue those down. And then the pockets, you guessed it, we're gonna glue here, glue up the side, fold it over, and then glue that down. And then we're going to, let me get this. Um, I've got my little strips for the pockets all ready to go. And we'll glue that on top and then we have little tags that will go in our pockets like so so i will do that and then when we're done just so you know when we're done folding all these over you're going to have a t shape and you're going to need four pieces of pattern paper for the outside of the box and again these are going to be um two and a half by two and a half because this is a small box all right, so I have my pieces ready for the outside of my box. So I will do that, and then I, well actually, let's do one pocket first, and let's um, show you how it goes. And then I will finish it, and then I will um, come back and show you what it looks like all finished. So put your, either your pattern paper or your cardstock. I use the cardstock. Um, you can do however you want out of the way. I love the little fishies that were so cute. Just put a little line of glue there, not on your cardstock. Okay, little line of glue there. Fold that over. Glue that down. Okay, get your little fishy. Put your glue on there. So just matting that little pocket. Put my little fishy on the pocket. And there you go, you have a little pocket. All right, there you go. So then you can grab your little tag, whichever little tag you want, stick her in there and you're good to go. So let me finish this up and I will be right back. So I have the inside of the bottom pocket small box done. The pattern paper is on the little pockets. I've got my little tags on the insides and um, you can, you know, put, take some of these, cut little tag shapes, put those in there as well. Um, you can fill them up. So it's really kind of cool to do. And then the back side is done and then we just need to put it in our box. Now, um, the other thing I wanted to mention and remind you is that you can do there's so many different things that you can do with this. So you don't have to do all four as pockets. You could actually just do two as pockets and uh, not have, you know, just have big photo mat on the other two leaves of this one if you wanted to. You can do this to any size that you wanted to. You can, you know, kind of, um, if you don't like the bottom pockets on the smaller one, you can put it on a larger one. So that, you know, there's so many combinations that you could do with this. Uh, um, it's just, it's mind boggling, you know, what you can do. Um, I've come up with in the video that I have the link to earlier, I want to say there was like 12 different pages that I kind of came up with on how you can, you know, create different things with your pages. So, you know, the, the options are, are limitless. So this is, you know, the recreation of what I did, but you know, you can do so many different things with this. So, um, just be aware of that. So the last box that's going to, you know, fall out into an open kind of page is going to be the extra small box. 
and it's going to be um, start off with a seven by seven piece of cardstock. Put it in your board, score it on the extra small box score line. So the extra small right here. Don't do your corners uh, because we're going to use those to create some pockets. All right. So we've scored on all four sides on the extra small score line. And then I took a pencil and from score line to score line, I drew another line and I'm going to cut these corners out to create, excuse me, the octagon shape. All right. So we're just going to cut those out just like we've done before. On all four corners, so score line to score line. I'm not a good eyeballer. This is a little too big to eyeball for me. So that's why I drew the lines. And then what we're going to do is, instead of doing pinwheel cuts, what we're going to do is cut these two score lines here and these two score lines here. We're going to leave these intact on the side. So on the top and the bottom, we're going to cut those score lines up. So I drew pencil lines to kind of show you where we're going to cut. But you don't necessarily have to. You know, you can just follow the score line. So turn it over so you have a piece that looks like this. Turn it over and do it again. Let's get rid of that. And cut up the pencil line or your score line, however you do it. Definitely easier to see if you put a pencil line on the craft paper, that's for sure. All right, so let's erase those lines without bending my paper. And this is the double triangle pocket. So we're going to need to make the triangles again. So the squares that are going to be covered with photo mats, you're going to need a few of those. So I got some tags and you're going to need, I covered all four, so you're going to need four pieces. And again, this is the extra small size. So you're going to need four pieces that are two and a quarter by two and a quarter for your photo mats. Okay. And um, for the outside, again, um, you're going to need pattern paper and same thing, four at two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So that's going to be the outside of the box, inside of the box. Then you're going to need triangles to cover these pockets. The triangles are cut at two and an eighth by two and an eighth. And you're going to take, you need um, two of those. And you're going to cut your paper two and an eighth by two and an eighth, and then just cut it into triangles. And then I used paper that I could reverse and use both of the patterns on the thing. So make sure this one's directional. So I have to make sure that I fold my pocket the correct way. All right. So once you get done with that, then you're going to fold and burnish all of your lines. All right, and I'll make one pocket with you, and then I will finish it and show you the final product. Okay, so we got all of our lines folded. So you should have something that's gonna look like that. These will fold over and look like that, and then you'll have two photo map pages here. So the first thing to do for your pockets is to grab the, I used, again, the just the plain brown cardstock. You could use another pattern paper if you chose to. Totally up to you. But again, I just kind of raided my stash of scrap cardstock. And I <laughs> didn't even have to cut a piece of brown artisan cardstock to make this because I had all the scraps to do it. All right, so decide how you want your pockets folded. Doesn't matter which one goes over which side. Um, just I did it the same on both so that it was, you know, symmetrical. So if we start on the right side here. I'll put my little bead of glue there. And I'm going to fold that pocket over and glue it down. All right, and then I'm going to grab the triangle that's going to go on that side and I'm going to put that down. And I really like the plaid. I like the flowers. I've been using the flowers, but I haven't used a plaid. So I'm gonna put the plaid on the outside. I'll put the flowers on the inside. So put that on there. 
All right. Then bead of glue on the bottom of your other triangle. So you can do this however you want. I mean, honestly, this is your project. Do whatever you want. You can have the pockets go in the same direction on both sides. You can have them do opposite. You could do the opposite papers. Whatever you want. But this will create the double pocket. All right, so there you have the double pocket. So then I've got my tag, so I have two for each one. And I think what I will do is these two for this pocket. So we've got one there, one there. And I might need to trim that one down just a wee bit, maybe for the, well, maybe not, I won't. Nope, it'll be totally even. Okay, so we have our two little pockets there. And then I'm gonna create the bottom ones and then I will come back and I'll show you what all this looks like. Okie dokie, I've got the inside of this one done. This is the extra small box, and this is the last of the kind of explosion pages. The next one's going to actually be a gift box, since we're recreating the Christmas one that I did. And um, I made the pockets, so each pocket has two tags, because there are two separate pockets. So um, this paper collection had the cutest little um, odd-sized cut-aparts that just fit perfect with this project. So I did that. Then I covered the outside, and again, make sure if you're using directional paper that you pay attention to how the box is going to fold up so that everything is in the right order. And then we're going to grab this, and we're going to the last, you know, we're going to glue it down just like we did the last time. So glue on the bottom, and center that. art glitter glue catch and press it down you know what I need to use this it's getting too small for even my small thing okay so lift it up make sure nothing oozed out so your pages don't glue down where you don't want them to all right and there we go so that's the last kind of layer so the next one's going to be the little gift box inside so Let's see how to make a box. The box I made is the extra, extra small. So this is the seventh layer that um, you have. So it's a piece of paper that's six by six cardstock. And we're going to put it in our scoreboard. This is the box. And we're going to score it on all four sides on the extra, extra small. Now, the instructions with that come with this board say to do the corner Thing and fold them in and glue it all down. It makes too much of a uh, thickness for me, especially since I'm using artisan cardstock and it's really heavy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually show you, I'm going to do tabs and I'm going to do pinwheel style tabs. So what we're going to do is um, on each of the four corners, we're going to make tabs and then we're just going to glue them up. That's going to take a lot of the bulk out. And in my first video, I called it the country craft creations method of doing it and um, it's gonna work out really well. The other thing that this is gonna do is this is going to reinforce all four sides so that you have a really nice strong box, okay? So once you cut this one corner, so I just mitered this, cut up the score line and then mitered that so you have this nice tab, then just turn it and do that all over again. So um, if it's easier for you, just cut up the score to the score and then cut the miter for the tab, all right, turn it, do it again. So you do that on all four sides, pinwheel style. And then that way, all four sides have one extra piece of reinforcement with the tabs. Um, the way that the box, you can totally fold the corners in and glue them down, which is absolutely fine, but I think it makes it too thick, um, especially, again, if you're using a thick cardstock. Now, the other thing you could do is do the four corners with a score and don't glue anything and then just have it 
fold up into an enclosed box. You could do that if you wanted to, but if you want just a straight box, this is how you do it. This is also how I'm going to make every single one of my lids. So we will um, go through this one more time, but once you're done, you know, fold and burnish like we always do. And then you're gonna need your pattern papers. So these squares to cover everything will measure one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So, so once we have this all done, we're folded and burnished. Now we're gonna um, cover the inside only, the bottom on the inside, because we're gonna fold these up and glue these down and we're gonna cover those later. So let's go ahead and do that. And then put that just on the inside bottom. It's a little easier to do when this is flat, that's for sure. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it over to the outside. And for the outside, we're gonna need just four pieces of pattern paper. These are, again, one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths, and we're gonna cover four sides, okay? Make sure the direction is the way you want it. So this is a wood grain. I'm gonna do it like up and down. So I'm just gonna put that on there really quick and show you while we're doing it. I didn't do this on the other ones because it's like, you don't need to sit and watch me glue. But this will be a lot quicker because there's not a lot of triangles and things to do. So there you go. We're almost done. We're gonna, I'll show you how to do a lid and then we'll put it all together and except for decorating, I'm gonna be done with this project. So I will decorate it and have some pictures. It'll be really super cute. I gotta find decorations. I'm not a big hunter and fisher and I don't have a lot of decorations for something like this. So I'm gonna see what I can come up with. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, outside of the box, cover all four. Don't cover the middle. It's gonna be glued down. Don't, don't do that. Okay, so outside is covered on all four sides. Inside is covered on the inside. And then you're just gonna glue the tabs up and you're gonna create your pocket, or your pocket, your box. All right, so I do that. And what you can do is grab a piece of your pattern paper that you cut for the inside, and you can do this as you go, since the tabs are gonna keep kind of going around pinwheel fashion. You can get a couple of them done while you still have a little bit more room, you know, to get in there and do it. Or you can glue all four tabs down and then glue the sides, it, however you want to do it. So, all right. So, and you can see how this is going to get all reinforced. You're going to have two layers of cardstock, and then you're going to have two layers of pattern paper on the side. So it's gonna be a nice little sturdy box. And that's the other really kind of cool thing about this um, scoreboard is that you can make gift boxes in all seven of these sizes and they would hold some really cute little gifts, that's for sure. And it would be nice and sturdy too with the pattern paper and the cardstock and all that. Okay, so I've got my sides glued down. All right, let's finish gluing the pattern paper in. This is the tricky part for me, I'm trying to get in there, but you can do it. You have to be quick though, the art glitter glue sets up pretty fast, so. Get it in there and make sure it's where you want it. Okay. We'll get this done. And then we have a lid to make. We'll put it all together. All right. All right. One more. Then our little gift box that goes in the middle of this is done. There we go. All right, so 
so the little inner gift box is done. Again, you don't have to make a box box if you don't want to. You can, you know, leave the sides, do some other, you know, sort of explosion page if you want. But if you want to have like a little mini box in here, I thought this would be, you know, like if you have a fisherman in your life, um, get a cute little lure to put in there to commemorate the trip with this album. Um, you know, whatever. It's just the, the possibilities are endless. That's for sure. All right. Glue this down. All right. So there's the box. Okay. So we're going to talk lids now. Let's talk lids. We're going to, we have one we're going to make. So we'll make the outer one, the um, extra, extra large one, um, on camera, but I did make the other ones already. Um, because they're all made the same. They're just the different sizes. Okay. So my small little lid I made for that and pull up your next pieces here on the next layer. And I made this cute little lid that goes there. Isn't this, a, this is adorable. This turned out adorable. Whoops. I do this every time. So <laughs> get your next layer and there you go. All right, and then this layer, and then that layer. All right, and my little owls here, put that on. The boxes, when you first make them, if you don't put the pattern paper on right away, they it feels like the lids are like super, super, super loose. They are um, a little bit bigger than you would normally do, but because of the exploding kind of element of the pages and how much layering you can do in the pockets and everything, um, it actually works out pretty good to have them a little bit on the bigger side. So don't panic if you make one and it feels like it's really, really loose. For the explosion box, it's actually, that's what you want. All right, so we're gonna make a lid for this next layer. So when we fold it up and when you fold up the hearts, you know, they will overlap a little bit. So you will have to kind of nudge them in a little bit, but we'll make the lid for that and then we'll be done. Okay. So let's grab our lid. So this is the extra, extra large lid that corresponds to the extra, extra large box. So this will enclose the whole thing. So on your scoreboard, you will need a piece of cardstock that's six and a half by six and a half. And the, you do all the lids the same, depending on the size that you pick. And you score them all on the lid score line, every single one of them, okay? So you put your piece in your scoreboard and you score on the lid on all four sides, okay? That's all you have to do. The only difference is the size of the cardstock that you cut out, all right? So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do the whole pinwheel thing again with the tabs. So cut up the score line, create your tab, all right? And then turn it and do it again. So score, or cut up your score line. and create your tab, all four corners. All four corners, there we go. All right, so you have the pinwheel. So you see the tabs are all going different directions. And that way um, they will reinforce a little bit of each of the four sides, okay? So pinwheel fashion, pattern papers. So I have, I'm going to put the tents on the outside because I thought that was like super, super cute. And I'm gonna put this kind of denim um, material looking paper on the inside. So the pattern paper that you're going to need for this, for the lids, um, is, doo -doo 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 -doo. this is four and a quarter. So we're gonna do this at four and an eighth by four and an eighth. Ooh, I didn't cut that one right at all. Okay, I fixed my boo-boo. So I did not cut the tent paper um, appropriately. So what I did was I had some scraps. So I cut a piece, you, you want a piece of pattern paper to cover this lid that's four and an eighth by four and an eighth. So I cut that and then I trimmed the tent one down because I really wanted that on the top. So that's gonna cover the lid. So let's do that. Do the outside first and we'll cover all four uh, sides and the top. Do that. 
Oh, and you know what else I didn't do? Because I got all Twitter painted about the paper. I didn't fold and burnish. Okay, so we can still do that. No big deal. I have done that a million times. Where it's like, oh, yeah, I guess I got to do that, don't I? <laughs> I have been trying to get this tutorial done. Um, I've been working on it for a couple days, so I've had to work the last couple days, so I come home from work and get the pieces ready because I wanted it to go as smoothly as possible, and I still, you know, even though I tried to get it as smooth as possible, I still had some issues, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, we, um, yeah, it's been busy. Busy at work. And then last night, I was going to tape this, and that got changed because my doggies were being interesting last night so ended up I didn't do anything after I took care of that so <laughs> all right so I'm putting my pattern paper on the sides here and this is the outside of the box okay just make sure the orientation is good all right There we go. We are almost done, guys. This is the last piece. And then it's just a matter of decoration. So I gotta, like I said, I gotta figure that out. Cause I, we are not campers and we are not hunters or fishermen or anything like that. So I don't have a lot of embellishments, but I'm gonna figure, I'll figure something out. I definitely will, but There you go. So this is the kind of start to finish. So you can do any combination you want. You can do as many leaves as you want, up to seven, of course. Um, then what we're going to do, cover the inside. Um, you can, you know, you can only do three or four, depending on, you know, what, what you're doing. If you're making it like a gift box and an album, if you need a little bit bigger box for the gift, just don't do as many leaves and make a box so all the boxes are made exactly the same again it's just cut out the appropriate paper and use the appropriate score line and you are going to be golden that's the the beauty of this board it's really cool and they all go together really easy and you don't really have to think about it which is amazing all right so i'm gonna go ahead and doing this pretty quick but put your glue on glue your tabs up and there you go so yeah um that's that for this so i think this is a really fun project um the explosion boards or excuse me the explosion boxes are really coming back into style or in vogue i guess they you know have been around a bazillion years this board just is fun to use and there's a lot of things to do. So the next project, I think I'm going to show you because I've come up with so many. Um, I think what we will do is I will show you where I will, the next um, tutorial will be an explosion box that I created and it has a different little mini album on the inside. So I think we'll do that one next. And then I have some organizer boxes and some gift boxes that I came up with and I got a couple other ideas. So there's, there's gonna be a lot of little tutorials, I think. This one I think will be the biggest just because this one is all the layers and all the lids. But the next one, I think will be a little shorter, but it turned out really super cute. Wait till you guys see it. It's gonna be cute. So. Here we go. All right, we're almost done. Two more pieces. So these strips measure four and an eighth by one inch. So you'll need, you know, four for the inside, four for the outside. And the other cool thing about these lids is that they're big. You can 
put a photo mat in there and you can put a photo on the lid if you want. I mean, like I said, the possibilities are endless with this thing. This will hold quite a few pictures and has quite a few fun things. So I thought these, these would be cute um, for all kinds of things. So you could do it for album, gift box. Uh, you could use these as a card. Um, I have a friend who wants me to make one for her for her granddaughter's birthday. So I'm gonna do one in birthday theme and it's gonna be kind of like a combination little gift box birthday card thing. So, um, so fold up your outer box. You got your outer lid and ladies and gentlemen, we are done. So this is the box. This is using all seven layers. This is the recreation of the Christmas themed one that I did that started this whole thing. And um, I, you know, again, guys, I really appreciate your support and your interest in this. And I'm going to come back, I promise, real soon. And I will share with you my other ideas. So I have lots of other ideas. This, I, I've come up with a bunch of fun things that you can use this board for. So let's just go through this. We'll open it up and then I will be done and I will let y'all go. And you can create one for yourself. So we've got our heart. We've got our single triangle pocket. We've got our T page. We open this one up. We have our octagon page, which is really quite cute. We got this one here. That's the bottom pocket page with our little tags. Look at the cute little deer. Is this not cute? Again, this is photo play. And this was Camp Happy Bear um, that I got from Country Craft Creations. And it's really, really super cute. Um, I got it. Oh, it's adorable. Countrycraftcreations.com. Um, the artisan cardstock is the brown from Country Craft Creations, and I got the craft from Country Craft Creations. The art glitter glue is, again, Country Craft Creations. So please go there, countrycraftcreations.com, and, and check it out. So we've got our little double triangle pocket here, and then our gift box. All right, y'all. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for um, everything, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.